Hi, today we're going to be taking a look at the Anchor foldable solar panel. Now they make this in 8 watts and 14 watts and this is the 14 watt model. So you can see it has four panels and it's meant to output up to 14 watts. Over here we have two USB ports that you can connect your phone or portable battery or whatever you want to charge. Now it doesn't have a battery inside the unit itself. You really just have to connect your device and start charging. But you could always connect a portable battery pack here, leave that out charging and then use that portable power later if you wanted. So now I'll bring the camera closer and we'll take a look at this up close and we'll do some testing. Now it's about 2pm here and the sun is absolutely baking. I'm pretty much melting. Now these are meant to be weather resistant, but I don't know about how much water they can handle. They pretty much say minimize contact to water, so I would guess you shouldn't leave these out in the rain. So what I'm going to do today is use the porter power to measure the output of this. And as I've shown you in the past, the porter power can tell you uh, the voltage, the amps and the watts. So that's very useful for measuring the output of this. Now in this section here we have a small pouch, that's where you can put your charging device or your battery or anything you want or store your cables. Um, as much as possible if you say charging a phone, you don't want to leave it out in the sun because it's going to get, you know, it's going to overheat and it's probably not going to do the battery uh, any good over a long time period. So you probably want to put like maybe a towel over your device or something like that or ideally use a long cable and keep your phone in the shade and then you know have this out in the sun. So inside this pouch we have this little charging area here, it has uh, two USB ports, the maximum output of a single USB port is 2 amp. First thing I'm going to do is plug in the port power and see what voltage we're getting. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see this on the screen, but it's measuring 5.2 volts. So now I'm going to connect a portable battery that I know is capable of drawing around 2 amp. Now the important thing with this is to use official cables, certified cables. If you use a cheap cable, it won't charge at its full speed. So this is the original cable that came with this portable battery. I'll plug that in and I'll plug this into charge. See immediately it shows it's charging and the port of power is measuring 5 volts, 1.35 amp and it's drawing in 7 watts. Now I don't have the panel angled in any particular way so Okay, look, see, if you, if you block it even a little bit from the sun, you hugely lose the amount of power being generated. Let's see if turning this makes a difference. Yeah, so it, basically how it's orientated to the sun can make a big difference. Let's plug in another device and see what happens. I have a second porter power. So I'll plug that in next to this one. Now this was actually a gift from someone for Christmas and I just haven't had a chance to shoot a video about it yet. So the second port of power is now plugged in. I'm going to connect a charge cable and I will now connect my phone to charge that. <coughs> okay, shows that it's charging. <coughs> okay, we've got... So it's, it's basically split the output between the two devices between the phone and the portable battery so I'm getting uh, the voltage has dropped to 4.6 volts and we're getting around 0.6 amp on this one 0.9 amp on this one so 4 watts and 3 watts let's try and change these panels a bit so they're getting more sun okay that's giving us a bit of a boost let's keep trying I assume this would be better on a flat surface as well because all the panels would then be in the same orientation. Ah, oh, there we go. So now I've hugely increased, or not hugely, but I've increased the voltage. So it's now back to, or it was, 5 volts. Um, and we're getting around 3.6 watts on this one, 3 watts on this one. But that's still nowhere near 14 watts, right? Now for maximum output, this is a 14 watt solar panel. USB devices are 5 volts. And they say the maximum output per USB port is 2 amp. Well, that would be 10 watts. So I assume there must be some losses going from the solar down to 5 volts. Okay, well, I'm going to leave it there because I'm melting in the sun and this isn't a comfortable place to do this experiment. So what I'll do is uh, I'll actually continue this experiment somewhere else and then I'll tell you whether or not I was able to get 14 watts out of this. 
So I hope you enjoyed my video about the Anker portable solar charger. It really is quite portable, you know, you can just unfold it, hang it from your bag or from a tent or just put it on the floor. There's, you know, a lot of different ways you can mount this thanks to these little eyelets. Um, please remember to give a thumbs up and subscribe.